Hi, today I'm going to show you how to blur the edges on a 4x3 video in a 16x9 timeline. Here we have the video right here. And uh, there's what I call a zipper on the edge, which I hate. And it's also running across the top. And it's on this edge as well. So here's how we blur the edges. I'm going to double click on this video. I'm going to click back here and arrow up. So I'm lined up here. I'm going to make sure track 3 is active and I'm going to overwrite. So now we have the same video two times in a row. Before I did this and double click to bring it up here, I turned off sync because I don't want to start messing with audios and have two sets of audios. So I just want two video tracks. What I have underneath here is just color bars just so I can see something. So I'm going to take this bottom piece and slide it out a little bit because I want to work just on the top piece. Now the first thing I have to do is get rid of what I call a little zipper on each side. So I'm going to double click, bring it up here, click on motion, and I'm going to crop the edges. I'm going to crop say two points. I'll type two, tab, two, tab. Now that get, gets rid of the edges here, but I can see a little bit of edge right up here. So I'm going to blow this up, also known as scale. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to go to 103, hit tab, now it's blowing up. Okay, great. Next we work on the bottom piece of video. I'll click on it. I'm going to double click on it. It brings it up here. And I'm going to, I'm on motion, but sometimes you're on video, so you click on motion. And the first thing I'm going to do is distort it. Here's the aspect ratio. It's 33.33. 33. That's how it comes in. I'm going to click here, type in zero, hit tab, and it's distorted all the way to the sides. But I'm getting the zipper, so I'm going to click and go to 103 on scale. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an effect to this. Double click to make sure it's still up there. Go to effects, video filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Now I'm going to click on the filters and I'm just going to bring my Gaussian blur up to maybe uh, Let's click in here and hit 20. See how we like 20. So I'm going to come back to the timeline. I'm going to take this piece of video, snap it into place. Let's look at the first shot. It's blurred. Move along the second shot. Nice blurred edges. Third shot. Nice blurred edges. You know, we can go crazy with the Gaussian blur. It's all up to uh, personal preference. 20 is a nice number. Let's go to 30. That looks fine as well. I'm going to show you one more trick, and that is how to streamline this process. So here's the clip we did. There's three clips in a row, and you can see uh, the blur looks fine on the edge. What I have done is set up three more clips that need to be edged, as we call it. Instead of going through the whole process, we have a real easy way of doing this. What we're going to do is just take the effects from the first two and duplicate them onto as many clips as we want. So first, I'm going to set up a new bin. I'm going to call this 4 by 3 effects. I'm going to open it up, shrink it down a little, and put it off to the side here so I can see it. I'm going to close this bin, not really close it, I'm going to shrink this down a bit. I'm going to go to my effects bin, open up my favorites. All right, we'll come back to the timeline, and I'm going to double click here. I'm going to go to Effects and Make Favorite Motion. I'm going to rename this. We cropped to and scale to 103. I'm going to copy this down here. I'm going to go to the bottom piece of video double click, effects, make favorite motion, and this was aspect. I'm going to copy this down here. I'm going to click on filters and grab the Gaussian blur. Now I will close these two windows. I'll make this window big again. I'll come over to here. 
twiddle down my bin. I'm going to crop and scale the top one. Add the aspect to the bottom one. Add the Gaussian blur to the bottom one. And there it is. Quick and easy. I could do it to the next two by highlighting the next two. Let me put the playhead over the video. Highlight the bottom two. Aspect. Gaussian Blur. You can do this for as many clips as you want at a time. Thanks a lot.